Hey guys, what is up? It is Jim here. I have a new gun for you guys, and this is probably my most requested gun ever. This is the LEGO AKS-74U. For you. <laughs> that was lame. Okay. Well, <laughs> here it is. Uh, this has been requested forever, practically. I've never made it before. I'm not really too sure why I haven't made it before. Uh, I just... whoops. I just really haven't gotten around to it, and then when I did want to get around to it, I made too many AKs, so anyways, let's just start off with the stock, as you can see it is a, a tube stock, the standard one that it has, as you saw it is a bit uh, fragile with the locking mechanism, but we'll get into that eventually, it is tiled out on the back here, and everything else is practically just tiled out, it is a pretty standard stock, <laughs> as you can see we have the locking mechanism right here, which doesn't really handle much. Uh, sadly, the axles are very rounded at the ends, so it does tend to just slide out when there's enough um, strength put on it, but it is just a simple uh, magazine release mechanism that this actually worked off of. Here we have the grip, which is a major improvement on my previous AK grips. Uh, it is a bit uh, smoother as well, more comfortable, a bit skinnier. Uh, it does have the stipple designing in here instead. It looks a bit nicer than the uh, groove tiles as you can see inside of this 4x8 uh, plate I believe it is that is where the uh, grip is stuck in so it is extremely sturdy now uh, I think actually the plate will disconnect before the grip does since it's connected on the inside of the uh, normal stud dimensions so uh, that also meant that the trigger guard had to be over engineered to howl basically so as you can see I've used a few brackets here just to try to get it together and uh, it does uh, give a tiny arch but there's really nothing to do about that it does look really nice though I'm very happy with the way it turned out we have the trigger which is using the standard arch piece the 1x3 arch which is very nice in the finger and also looks really clean the one thing I'm not so happy with are the visible uh, technicals that are here but this has to be there for the uh, magazine release or uh, stock release I mean and this is just for connecting the technic parts of the stock this is for connecting the grip, uh, so sadly nothing to do. I could have put some plates over this, but then they would have been a bit too wide, so oh well. Here we have the uh, scope mount, which I did not end up making any scopes because this is just attached by brackets and the scope would just flop off and it would be a disappointment, so yeah. Uh, here we have the <laughs> magazine, which as you can see is not taped, it is still covered in glue. I'm yet to remove the glue from uh, the light gray pieces I have. Oops, there goes the trigger guard. And the magazine comes rocking out, just like so. As you can see, it has the um, rocking point in front and the locking point in the back. Uh, I did try to get it so that it is uh, angled and a bit thicker on the top while it sits in the magazine uh, well, but it doesn't really show too much. I am still very happy with the way it turned out, especially since I used no tape and it is holding together surprisingly well. But with that mentioned, we're gonna leave the magazine out for stability, much nicer. So, uh, as you can see, the dust cover design has improved drastically over the years. Uh, this time I actually have something that I'm very happy with. It's not quite 5 studs wide because I think that is way too wide, so instead I went for the 4 studs wide and then put some tiles on the sides like usual, but the back here I actually ended up getting really uh, nice looking, which I've had. <laughs> big troubles um, since you have to try to include the uh, dust cover release button and uh, this one is just sitting on a 1x2 hinge and uh, it does move up and down of course but it does look a whole lot nicer than what I've done in the past. So on the other side we have the uh, fire sector which this would be safe of course because it blocks the charging handle from actually chambering a round It also I assume it blocks the trigger at the same time. Uh, mine just kind of flops about, it does have a stop in there, so it doesn't really go uh, around the world, but, you know, it goes to stock. Let's just get that folded. Uh, it does fold into the pin that's right there, so not to mention. Um, and then, of course, we have the other firing modes. I never seem to remember which ones are which. The charging handle does work. It actually uses a black rubber band that so is less visible than normal, as you can see. So uh, yeah, it does just slide uh, back and forth really nicely, it does have the little curve on the uh, back. It is supposed to have a curve on the handle itself as well, but I didn't really have any parts to do that, so 
it is what it is. On top of the dust cover we have the uh, rear sight or one of the two rear sights. This is the circular one and then we have the standard adjustable, uh, or I believe it's adjustable, uh, leaf sight in the middle there. Then we just have the standard little pin with the uh, arches on the front there. So it is a really nice sight picture even though it goes through three different sights it is very nice. What the purpose of it is, I actually have no idea, <laughs> to be honest. So, here we have the handguard. I had a whole lot of troubles trying to go through uh, any design that actually would look nice and also feel comfortable, even though that doesn't matter too much. Uh, so I did settle for this 5 stud wide uh, design. As you can see, it has some of these uh, two-way arches, or um, slopes, I guess you could say, um, on the back here just to make a super nice slope um, and of course we have a few tiles on the sides just to add some width uh, so that the curves actually make sense so we have this kind of uh, finger indentation area where you're supposed to have your fingers uh, like so just for both sides uh, i tried to make this look nice but it was really hard so i tried to put some uh, rail pieces on the inside so it wouldn't look too, too skinny uh, since there's a four white top uh, on here, so yeah, hopefully it does look pretty nice. It does make a tiny shadow in there, but this is what I settled with in the end. Um, it's what looked best in my opinion. So yeah, there we have the front side and the gas block. It's not really too detailed since the front side took up a lot of space. Plates are sliding. Here we have the uh, muzzle brake, which is kind of iconic for the AK. Uh, S74U, uh, it's this kind of cone at the end, which, what feature it serves, I don't really know, but it is there. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much it. I am very sorry that it has taken so long for me to actually be able to get a video out. I just have not had any time um, to build. I've been finishing up my education uh, with work, so now I'm certified, <laughs> I guess you could say. So uh, hopefully I should get some more time to be building uh, eventually. So yeah, uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys. Goodbye.